5 Reasons Why You Absolutely Need To Visit Angola Hello Displorers, welcome back to another exciting video presented to you by Desplore and thanks for watching. In this video we shall be bringing you 5 reasons why you absolutely need to visit Angola. But first, let's have a brief background of Angola. Angola is a country on the west coast of Southern Africa and is the 7th largest country in Africa. Angola is an enclave province, the province of Kabinda that borders the Republic of Congo and the Democratic Republic of Congo. The capital and largest city of Angola is Luanda. The territory of Angola has been inhabited since the Paleolithic era, hosting a wide variety of ethnic groups, tribes and kingdoms. The nation-state of Angola originated from Portuguese colonization, which initially began with a coastal settlement and trading post founded in the 16th century. In the 19th century, European settlers gradually began to establish themselves in the interior. The Portuguese colony that became Angola did not have its present-day borders until the early 20th century because of resistance by groups such as the Kwamato, the Kwanyama, and the Mbunda. After a protracted anti-colonial struggle, independence was achieved in 1975 as the Marxist-Leninist People's Republic of Angola, a one-party state supported by the Soviet Union and Cuba. The civil war between the ruling People's Movement for the Liberation of Angola and the insurgent anti-communist National Union for the Total Independence of Angola, supported by the United States and Apartheid South Africa, lasted until 2002. The sovereignty has since become a relatively stable unitary presidential constitutional republic. Angola is a member state of the United Nations, OPEC, African Union, the Community of Portuguese Language Countries, and the Southern African Development Community. A highly multi-ethnic country, Angola's 25.8 million people span tribal groups, customs, and traditions. Angolan culture reflects centuries of Portuguese rule in the predominance of the Portuguese language and of the Catholic Church. If you are new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and turn notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. For too long, South Africa and Zimbabwe had been the go-to destinations for Southern Africa. However, thanks to recent visa changes, Angola is finally opening up as an exciting travel destination. From the vibrant capital city of Luanda in the north to the breathtaking mountains regions in the south, Angola has a stunning array of landscapes waiting to be explored. And the best part, you'll probably have it all to yourself given many tourists are not yet flogging to Angola. Angola is one of the newest tourist countries attracting numerous tourists around the world and here are 5 reasons why you absolutely need to visit Angola. Number 1. A Vibrant Capital Luanda Luanda is the capital and biggest city in Angola and it is the major primary port. It is the major industrial, cultural and urban center. The capital Luanda is likely to be your first stop upon arrival to Angola. Along the bay, the newly regenerated area of the marginal acts as a glittering center point of the city. Surround yourself in colonial architecture in the historic center of Biaxa and make sure to look for hidden shops and bars down the narrow side streets. The modernized marginal waterfront is an ideal setting for an evening stroll at Jose Pinto. Along the Ila Sun Pit, bring your tour for an afternoon on the city's beach, and if looking for a taste of the high life, sip a cocktail in one of the upmarket bars in the exclusive area of Musulo. The racial, cultural, and linguistic diversity of Luanda makes it a hotspot and a place to have fun while in Angola. As the economic and political epicenter of Angolan culture, Luanda is also the center of the Angolan culture including the Sindico Dokolo Foundation. Luanda is also the host of the annual International Jazz Festival since 2009. Number 2. Remarkable Geological Wonders The natural wonders of Angola should be right at the top of your itinerary. In the north, you can swim in the plunge pool of the Kalandula Waterfalls, the third tallest falls in Africa. At the mighty Kalandula Falls, you will get the refreshing breeze and relaxing feeling while you watch the heavy waters tumble. You can also hunt for mythical Queen Ginga's footprint fossilized in the rocks at Pongo and Dongo. Down south, hike up the Tundavala Gorge for spectacular views of the Chela Escarpment and drive the superb Serra de Leba Pass, finishing at the viewpoint that overlooks the wind and varied and verdant landscape. Angola may not be known for its incredible nature of famous local tribes, but that's mostly because the tourism side of the country is still at the early stages because Angola is rich with some of the most culture-oriented tribes in Africa. For the lovers of nature, just outside Luanda is the Kisimu National Park. The park is just a few hours from Luanda and a drive to the park is an experience you will not forget in a hurry. 
Wildlife such as giraffes, elephants, zebras and the incredible moon viewpoint make this one of the best parks in the whole country. The south of Angola is mostly famous for its local tribes as there, you go back in time and are able to experience real Angolan village life, given traditions are still a big part of the culture here. Number 3. Fantastic Beaches of Angola As a country with one of the longest coastlines in Africa of 1,600 kilometers, it comes as no surprise that Angola holds an impressive variety of beaches. With at least 11 beaches to choose from with distinct characteristics and features, your possibilities become endless. For surfing, bring your longboard to Cabo Ledo to experience one of the longest left-hand waves in the world at 500 meters. If you are looking for a more laid-back atmosphere, drive down to Sangano for a clean white sandy beach with views onto local fishing boats. Within the vicinity of the capital is Shipwreck Beach, where you can take in the folkloric tales of the rusting remains of tankers, cargo ships and fishing vessels. You can also visit the beautiful Musulo Beach, which is one of the most popular and beautiful of all, or run to the Baya Azul Beach for some calmness. Other beaches include Restinga Beach, the Baya dos Elefantes, the Sumbe, Cabinda, Porto Ambiom, the Morena, and the Baya Farta. If you're a beach person, then Angola has got you covered, as each of these beaches offer unique experiences. Number 4. Rich Culture The culture of Angola is influenced by the Portuguese who occupied the coastal enclave Luanda and later also the Benguela people. Given the original inhabitants of Angola were Bantu, hence the culture that has become the modern day reality of the people of Angola is a mixture of the Portuguese and Bantu cultures. The diverse ethnic communities with their own cultural traits, traditions and native languages or dialects include the Ovimbundu, Ambundu, Bakongo, Chokwe, Avambo and other people. This has given Angola its diversity in indigenous and musical culture. In Namibia province, spend some time with the Topiari head Naneka Hombe tribe as they lead you to the prehistoric rock paintings of Chitundo Hulu. If you are feeling more intrepid, mingle with the Chokwe tribe in the Luanda provinces, whose ritual masks are so important that they have become collector items. Otherwise, Luanda's yearly jazz festival is arguably the city's cultural highlight, whilst the Luanda Blue Fest is fast becoming an important fixture on the social calendar, attracting both national and international hip-hop and Kuduro stars. Number 5. Fascinating Historical Sites Angola's turbulent history under colonialism and armed strife can also be explored through its historical monuments. The Pyramidal Monument in Quito, Quena Valley, commemorates those who died during the battle between the UNITA and South African Defence Force and FAPLA in 1997. In the centre of the country, Angola's first UNESCO World Heritage Site in Banza, Congo is where Central Africa's first church was established by the Portuguese in the 1600s. And back in Luanda, the Fortaleza de São Miguel offers panoramic views of the city, where you can also walk among the rusty cannons still scattered around the fort. A visit to Angola will not only make you reminisce on the events of the past, but also help you to appreciate how the people of Angola have been able to progress so far while holding on to important artifacts and truths of their history. Hence, a visit to Angola is not only you sharing in Angola's history, but that of the entire African continent. There you have it, the explorers. Those were the five reasons why you absolutely need to visit Angola. Thanks for watching this video. If you want us to cover absolute 5 reasons to visit a particular country, leave a suggestion in the comments and we will do well to grant your request. Also, if you did enjoy this video, do well to give it a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends.